my fellow Americans, on Saturday, at my direction, the United States successfully concluded an airstrike in Kabul, Afghanistan, that killed the Emir of Al Qaeda, Iman Al Zawiri. You know, Zawiri was uh, Bin Laden's leader. He was with him all the, the whole time. He was his number two man, his deputy at the time the terrorist attack 9/11. Now. Justice has been delivered, and this terrorist leader is no more. People around the world no longer need to fear the vicious and determined killer. The United States continues to demonstrate our resolve and our capacity to defend the American people against those who seek to do us harm. You know, we, we, uh, we, we make it clear again tonight that no matter how long it takes, no matter where you hide, if you are a threat to our people, the United States will find you and take you out. After relentlessly seeking Zawahiri for years under Presidents Bush, Obama, and Trump, our intelligence community located Zawahiri earlier this year. He had moved to downtown Kabul to reunite with members of his immediate family. After carefully considering the clear and convincing evidence of his location, I authorized a precision strike that would remove him from the battlefield once and for all. This mission was carefully planned, rigorously minimized the risk of harm to other civilians. And one week ago, after being advised that the conditions were optimal, I gave the final approval to go get him. And the mission was a success. None of his family members were hurt, and there were no civilian casualties. I'm sharing this news with the American people now, after confirming the mission's total success through the painstaking work of our counterterrorism community and key allies and partners. This operation is a clear demonstration that we will, we can, and will always make good on the sol solemn pledge. My administration will continue to vigilantly monitor and address threats from Al Qaeda, no matter where they emanate from. And we continue to mourn every innocent life that was stolen on 9 11 and honor their memories to the families who lost fathers and mothers, husbands, wives, sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, friends and co-workers on that searing September day. It is my hope that this decisive action will bring one more measure of closure. No day shall erase them from the memory of time, today and every day. Today, we remember the lost. We commit ourselves to the safety of the living and we pledge that we shall never waver from defending our nation and its people. Thank you all, and may God protect our troops and all those who serve in harm's way. We will never, we will never give up.